Kyle Trask has been the one mainstay in this Heisman Trophy race ever since it's been discussed mm-hmm. uh, from from week one coming out against Ole Miss, just setting the world on fire. Um, it, it appears to be almost a, a bit of a Heisman showdown at the SEC championship game with Mac Jones. Um, Kyle Trask has been near perfect this year in regards to not having a down game, a bad game, and being the guy probably in comparison to Jones that that you would look to as a, a player that made the difference where Jones is fitting a system. Trask has been a difference uh, lifting a team to a division championship. No question. Honestly, right now, I think Kyle Trask is your front runner as your Heisman. You know, I, I joked the other day on a radio show that Heisman, I mean, um, Kyle Trask is, you know, when he was playing against Tennessee, didn't play to his best ability. He could, he would tell you, honestly, he didn't have a good name, good game, but then he still had Heisman numbers. Um, he, you can definitely even joke that he had a Heisman moment because he punted the ball. Obviously Florida fans understand that, you know, one famous player in particular who won the Heisman also, you know, was a kicker all as well. So um, when you look at that, you think, how can you argue against, against Kyle Trask? When, because when he has a bad game, it's a really good game by the numbers. Um, and he's shown great leadership, you know, and this, his story just from just incredible. You know, I think Kyle Trask is just bored of hearing his story over and over and over again. And probably a little annoyed that they keep bringing that he's a two star recruit back up in high school, stuck in high. So I think he's a little frustrated. But when you think of the trajectory of his career, you know, two, three years ago, I don't think anyone would have picked him in this moment um, if you really saw um, just how things were working in his career. He got some dealt some really bad cards, with injuries. And, you know, we always saw his accuracy in practice, but for some reason, coaches just never took the next step with him and put it up and put him in game situations. Felipe Franks obviously won the battle being the quarterbacks under first Dan Mellon season, but Kyle Trask has been able to grow so much and now he's breaking school records. And I think he's been able to lead this team in a way where, you know, they, they do enough to win games when it matters. You know, when, you know, something that Florida teams of the past, they used to play down to competition and then they wouldn't finish those games. This is a team that you can see sometimes plays down to competition, but again, they still finish the games and they do it in a convincing fashion. Um, I think Kyle Trask, you know, is still my favorite to win the Heisman. But again, when you look at how this is shaping up, it really is whoever wins in the SEC championship game. Um, it's just how it feels, you know, just Heisman is more of a campaign. And I think the campaign will be decided by who scores the most points in the SEC championship game. Um, I think there's a lot of perception. I think it took so long for people in the national media to recognize Cal Trask and his ability. I remember watching a game, I think it was two games ago. That's when really Kyle Trask's momentum on the national stage started growing. Everyone locally who's been watching Kyle Trask week in and week out was saying, wow, he's having a great season. He can throw in tight windows. His presence in the pocket is certainly changed from last year. But I think it took a lot of time for people in the national media to see him while they all were already talking about Justin Fields, Trevor Lawrence, and Matt Jones. So he was coming in from a deficit in that way where you really needed to push that campaign for Heisman. I think Florida has started doing that more. But Dan Mullen isn't the type of guy to really push that narrative a lot more. You can tell when we ask him questions about Kyle Trask and, you know, his Heisman hopes. And he always kind of pushes back and says, well, if the team wins, Kyle Trask wins, individual awards will kind of follow. So when you can, when other coaches might have a little bit more of a hand in those type of discussions where they might talk about why they think they could win a Heisman. That's not Dan Mullen's style. So that might be a detriment down the line to, you know, the Heisman campaign. But again, if Kyle Trask and Florida beat Mac Jones in Alabama, you can't argue against that. But if just looking at numbers and what Kyle Trask has been able to do, I would give the Heisman to Kyle Trask just because watching him, watching his story, um, watching what message he sends to college athletes is just a remarkable thing to see. Yeah, I think a victory on the field in Atlanta definitely wins a Heisman for Kyle Trask. Now, if a close loss in which he plays an extremely great game, I think it'll be interesting to see how the votes handle. I would certainly still cast my vote in Kyle Trask's favor under those circumstances. 38 touchdowns, three picks, 71% complete. School record, tied to school record with those amount of touchdowns. And there's still games to go. 
that would be held by another Heisman Trophy winner, I would I would guess. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. From 2007. 